Okay guys, it's Joe again, and this is the uh, Poker Vlog. I think this is part four, I wanna say. Played yesterday, played two buy-ins at the super cheap level. And here's the highlights, let's go over four hands. Uh, first hand, first buy-in. Again, it's just crazy multi-way people came to play. It's just limp, 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 limp. And I'm in the small blind with king, queen of spades. So I pop it big time, I put it to like 1300 out of one, two, two. And I get, everybody folds, they're all supposed to, right? Everybody folds except for the guy in the button who doesn't fold. And then it comes um, ace rag rag, maybe one spade. So I continue for 15 or so, 1500, and he calls. Uh, the turn is some kind of a brick. I think maybe I turn a spade, it's, it's kind of fuzzy now, but it, I wasn't completely dead. Uh, so I fire again, you know, 2000, 21, 22, something like that, and he calls. And then the river's an utter brick, so I just check, he checks behind, it shows ace five. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, never be scared of a bigger ace, never be scared, don't, don't be scared of that. So that was a lot, a lot of the part of my speculation. Um, final hand on that one, like, I, yeah, it's, of course it steams me out, and final hand on that one, I, again, they're doing it, they're just limp, 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 I'm late position, like, one off the button with fours. So I think I start the hand with about 5,100. So I make it, I think it's 1,900 with fours. Yeah, I know it's a little over, but I have every intent, intent to isolate and hopefully they'll miss and I can just take it down, okay? So again, everybody folds except for this one lady in C5 and it comes uh, 984 rainbow, which is nice. <laughs> So she checks, and I open shove for the 3,500 or so I've got left, somewhere around there. And then she's like, I call. And she shows ace eight for mid pair and an ace kicker. And I'm like, okay, you know, cool. This is how I'm going to get back to where I need to be. Uh, the turn is an eight, and the river is an ace. So she ends up with a bigger full house. <laughs> a runner, runner, full house off a of mid pair. So that was the first buy in. <clears throat> Second buy in, everything's going pretty much the same just weird you know this is really only for my personal record so that i can re really document these ridiculous beats that i'm experiencing lately uh the one that i lost the most on was folds around to me i think the blinds are like two four four uh folds around to me i've got ace five of diamonds so i make it like i think 1400 or 1500 uh small blind insta calls um, a blind, big blind fold. So it's just us two, and it comes Jack Jack nine, two diamonds. Exactly Jack Jack nine with two diamonds. Um, let's see. She checks. I fire. Uh, what did I fire? About two. Same type of thing. Two twenty two hundred. Maybe my bets are too small. I don't know. But she calls. Now, little did I know, and I'm gonna tell you now. She has queen ten of diamonds. She actually has the straight flush draw. She didn't bet it, but she has it. So she calls. Uh, turn is the ace, like an ace of spades. And she checks, and I'm like, you know what? I'm If I'm ahead, I'm way ahead here. So let me just see how things can develop. Uh, so I check behind, and the river's the king of diamonds. She fires 3,000, and I just call it. And I'm pretty surprised. I'm like, oh, I have the diamonds. And then she's like, oh, okay. And then she shows, and the dealer's like, she has a straight flush. And I'm all, you, are you really going to tell her that? So, whatever. Okay. So that pretty much puts me down. Um, I make a couple of really nice plays. I do ultimately build that stack up to about 50000 not doing crazy things. But then, in staying conservative and reducing variance and not being a wild man, uh, staying out of trouble is how I get blinded down. So here's an example. I get, I'm, I'm down to 26,000. They've moved me twice. I'm at like the second table off from one move. Um, I'm sitting in second position or C2, um, second position. And the blinds are 1,500, 3,000, 3,000. First position makes it 10. I've got King Jack of Diamonds and I open fold it. I just fold it. Well, not open fold, but yeah, I just, I fold behind the raise. Um, somebody calls her, it comes king, rag, rag. She checks, he fires, she folds, shows tens. 
he shows nines. Um, this is by the river, and I think the river was my jack. So I mean, I I could have likely tripled up there if I had been a crazy man, and I'm just not I'm not playing that way. Anyway, it comes down to I don't think I played any hands. I maybe played one hand at this table. It comes down to me in the small blind, and I've just folded my big outright to some kind of aggression. There's this guy in seat eight that is betting 10,000 at pretty much every flop. He'll bet 10,000 with anything reasonable pre-flop. He'll bet 10,000 on the flop with air. So I've got 9-2 offsuit in the small. There's no raise. He just limps, which is weird. But a few hands earlier, he had min raised with aces, so it's not aces. And I just flat with the 9-2 the offsuit. Big blind flats behind. It comes king, king, two. And I decided to opt for a little bit of a trickier play. I bet 3,000. Big folds. And he looks at me and he raises it to a standard of 10. And uh, my stack total, I think, is about 26 or 28. It's not a lot. And so I look right at him. I'm like, there's just no way. There's no way he's got a king here. So I come over the top. And then something strange happens. Um, next thing I know, I, you know, I look at the guy next to me because he says something like, you got him or whatever, and I glance over, and then when I look back, his hand is open on the table. And I'm all, he folded. Because I hear, I hear from the other end of the table, you're good. And, he, and, and he's, he's tabled queen two of, like, clubs. And she's like, no, he didn't, he called you, he didn't fold it. And I'm like, oh. Okay, so my 9-2 against his queen 2 with the king-king 2. I, I have dissected this a few times, and I cannot figure out why, if he thought I was good, why he's calling. I, nobody's that nice to me to just openly give me chips, so I don't know. Anyway, it's something like a 6 and a 10, and I'm just, it's I'm not there. And that was it. That was the end of the two buy-ins on the super, super small stakes tournaments. Um, so to summarize, um, I ran into a runner, runner, big full house, and I ran into a straight flush. Uh, let's see how things continue. If this can be broken before I break. All right. Take care, everybody.